How does it look? Nice. Nice. <laughs> when she goes to the store, we're usually in the chip section for a good while. <laughs> it looks sizzling. Blackberry ciders be good. Okay. Alright, let me know when that needs to be taken out. So now I'm going to check this water. Okay, it's still cold. So we're going to boil that. We're going to add in some tofu shiitake fettuccine noodles. And then obviously we still have to cook our scallops, but I'm kind of saving it for last. Should we make a butter concoction? These are our scallops. Should we make like a butter concoction though? Or should we just add it all in? Like, because I want to do garlic butter. I'd eat that healthy, healthy. You know which food I love to eat, which has come from US? It's just beef jerky, yum yum. <laughs> Nice, looks yummy. Eat that healthy. You lost me with tofu, lol. I mean, it's just, you know, I. Regular pasta, which I do, don't get me wrong, but like every time I eat it, for some reason it bloats me a lot more than this does. Like, I mean, but in a way it's really uncomfortable. Like, I ate so much spaghetti the other night that, like, I just like was trying to sleep and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, garlic butter. Garlic butter is a must. So how do we do garlic butter? We just do it in a separate container, right? We just do it. Garlic butter is a must. <laughs> you guys are funny. Okay, let's get some kind of crock up in this beach. Cut your crock. Yeah. 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 Let's get some country crock. Look at that country crock here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Country crock. Here. Yeah. Country crock. But yeah. look at that country crock. Oh yeah. <clears throat> okay, what else did I do? Did I just add in the garlic then? That's like ice cream, ew. <laughs> I just added in the garlic, right? Oh yeah. And Aubrey just posted this. I love her. She said, your competition is in other people. Your competition is your procrastination, your ego, the unhealthy food you're consuming, the knowledge you neglect, the negative behavior you're nurturing, and your lack of creativity. Compete against that. This is my friend. She's like a badass bitch. She's so fucking pretty. She's like a model, and she's like a firefighter and stuff, and like her and I for homies, but I don't get to hang out with her that much. We want to do like a girl stream at some point. Check on oven quick. Okay. Oh, it kind of looks done. Is that done? Can't tell. It kind of looks done to me. That a lot more. Okay, five more minutes. Good. Okay. Five more minutes. You said five minutes. Okay. Five minutes. Done. Wait. Just like that. I don't know. I'm just going to do it. I'm not giving any advice. Switch chat. Oh, yeah. Got some ASMR, you guys. Got 
salt på det. That's a fuck ton of garlic. <laughs> and some pepper and garlic butter. Garlic in. Wait, do you guys put pepper in it? <laughs> Dan's gay. Do you guys put pepper in it? I don't know. Don't forget the garlic. Should we put more garlic in it? I need to preserve this garlic. It's the last of my garlic stash. Last time I went to go get garlic, all those fuckers stole it all from me. Next time there's garlic, I'll get some. more nutrients than that. A fuck on his only amount of garlic should ever be used. Nothing. Anything less is shameful. Black pepper. Wait, why do you put black pepper in your butter? That, like, I don't... You do that? You put black pepper in your garlic? I've never done that, but... Guess we could do a bit. Just a bit, like that. Like that? Dude, this is gonna be so dank. <laughs> I mean, the freezer burnt ones, though, I'm kind of iffy about. I'm gonna start sauteing them. Okay, so we're gonna do it on super low heat. Um, that way we can just, like, saute it. But it is going to take a while because I'm putting it on a really low heat because I don't want to overcook them. Oh wow. That just goes right in. So whenever this decides to kind of melt is when I know it's heated up somewhat. Oh wow. That with a spoon. Trap, try it, try it, try it, try it, try it, lick it, lick it, lick it. Turn the scallops into a little flour. Wait, why would you do that? Why would you put them in flour? Like I'm Sometimes I just make it so I don't want to eat it. <laughs> I have this. I don't have flour though. Why do I have garlic butter in my eyebrows all of a sudden? After that, I need to swim and run with those Reebok shoes to eat to burn the calories away. Flour will give a more crunchy texture, but you can do it without for more grills. My screen is being funky. Made it in a jiffy. So don't stick to the pan, you got a lot of oil and butter, you should be fine. Do you have roommates? No. I love doing that, it gets my hair all voluminous. It's so flat and straight. Like if I do that, then it gives it like all this volume. See? I have this volume now. Versus when it's like all like flat.
have noodles in there. Scallops and Jiffy, why not? Maybe next time. Why do you keep doing Go Buffer? Why do you keep doing that? All that volume, what's it like being a more what? Oh shit, reheat. Dude, I don't know, should I take them out? I turned off the oven. Or should I just leave them in there? Or take them out? I don't know what to do here. What do I do, chat? What do I do, chat? I don't know what to do. So yeah, these are just kind of like saute at first. I love scallops. Scallops are bomb, dude. I think your hair is the cutest, looks super soft, and there it goes. A brand recipe is Barthless Garlic plus Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman! Blondie Wandy hair it. Tasty. Om nom nom, sizzle sizzle, turn up and off but leave in there. I'm in the same position as you right now. You do, you, we love you all. Scallops, nice, haha. -ha. Yeah, we're doing scallops. We are doing the scallops. I'm gonna put some more butter in. Yes. Dude, this butter is going to be so good, man. Oh my gosh. I'm just whipping up a whole feast right now. I'm so proud of myself. Normally I'm a lazy piece of shit. <laughs> I'm whipping up shit that actually smells really dank. I'm not gonna lie. Well, if all that food ends up sucking, you still got a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Let's be honest, it probably will. And I probably will just eat the pies regardless if it sucks. Not <laughs> because... You know, I just, I really like fried chicken. Reheat 425, I think I can cook a little bit more. Had lobster, shrimp, and scallops the other day. Yes, please. Dude, oh, it's my dream. Where did you get it from? Did you make it? That's my shit, dude. Breakfast for dinner here. I love having breakfast for dinner. Breakfast for dinner is always good. Dude, breakfast for dinner though is so good. I was gonna like uh get eggies after the hike, but I ate some chess mix and then I had a hard boiled egg. Literally it's so easy. All I have to do with hard boiled eggs is just chop it in half, you take out the yolk, you just get some mayo and some mustard, you can mash that shit up, put it back in the egg, it's so much better than just a basic ass boiled egg. Pro life hacks, obviously. She misses eating meat. Like, I literally go to a gas station, and I'll just, like, get the hard-boiled eggs pack, and then I'll get the mustard and the mayonnaise from the hot dog section, and I'll get the little carton, and I just cut them up, and I just, like, psh, psh, psh. Denny's made a killing. They made it where you can get breakfast at any time. Dude, I've gone to Denny's at, like, 3 in the morning, more than I'd like to admit. My favorite's, like, the Grand Slam, the Lumberjack Slam. These scallops are gonna take a minute to cook, too. I said we're sauteing them. Dry flower house, like, look, look at that sauteing action going on, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's sauteing. I'm gonna clean this. I was making eggs with this earlier. I'm not like, I don't know. Instead of the barbecue, I got the salt and vinegar ones. 
insomnia, food prawn. Hey, can you go to Denny in the night, a.m. morning and scream? Gosh, she's perfect wife. When are you buying a 997? Dude, I was really close to buying a 997 just recently. It was speed yellow. Um, the guy had it really nicely upgraded. It had everything my car has. It had the Porsche crest in the seat, it had the seat belts, all that shit. But like, it sold in under two weeks. But that was the moment I was going to buy a 997. So I'm kind of sad. I told him to forward my information to the current owner so that if he decides to sell it, I will buy it from him. <laughs> um, it's just a yellow 997 2007. Literally the most beautiful car I've ever seen besides mine. <laughs> like, I don't know, it's just, I feel like I really would have like traded in my car because it literally was my car. Just a newer version, obviously, lower miles. I mean, my car is like paid off now, though, so I'm kind of like, I don't really want to get anything else. I was thinking of getting a second car, like maybe a Corvette or something that I could play around with that's like not an arm and a leg for maintenance, but, or maybe like a Miata or something like that, you know? So, I've been looking into that, but I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's nice to have your car paid off, but not have any payment at all, like, and it's yours. I don't have to worry about shit. Like if I go out and get another car, I don't know if I get a loan or not. It's like, I don't know. How much was it? The yellow 997 was originally 79,000 and then he dropped the price to I believe 76.5 maybe? I think it was and then it sold like the next day. No debts hype. Yeah, dude. That's the thing, is like, just having that paid off thing is like really nice because I don't have to worry about anything. Like, it's mine. You no. Know? Shit, to shit, I could always sell it. Like, but I'm probably not gonna do that, honestly. I just kind of want, I want to keep that car and get something else because I love that car. It's a big part of like my history, too. This cooking stream is brought to you by Reebok. He bite can DIY for you. Does feel good, man. I have a 2002 Honda Civic, paid thousand dollars cash. There you go. There's respect. There you go. Perfect. See, cars are a waste of money in general, anyway. So if you just like fucking pay them off, just have it. Like that's dope. I know people get mad at me when I say that, but like I'm obviously like. I have a fucking car that takes up a lot of money, but like, it's true, like, just don't get into cars. They're just money pits, and you can spend your money on like a cat sanctuary, okay? That's what it looks like so far. All that sauteing going on. Literally sauteing. They got cheap 997 on Auto Trader. 997 Turbo or 997 Carrera? OMG 1989 Firebird is dope. The scallops are sauteing. We still got some, got lots of butter still. Should we add in more butter? Oh, we should add in more. There's a lot in there. Oh, fuck. Can never have enough butter and garlic. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Just add it in. Dude, Firebirds are awesome. I love Trans Ams. Like, actually my dad had one when I was a baby. He had like a black Trans Am and then I think he had like another red one or something. But like, I, I, yeah, he had that. So I like Trans Ams. Trans Ams are cool. More butter. I could barely afford a Wonder Bomb at the moment, but I guess it's a good start to getting a car. What's a Wonder Bomb? 914 or Jeep? I don't know. I mean, I love Porsches. Jeeps are actually really expensive, though. Like, the Wranglers, like, they retain their value extremely well. I've always wanted one, but they're really fucking expensive. Like, they really don't lose their value. Cars are a total waste of money, but they're so awesome. I wish I could own them all. Same, dude. Same. I'm just glad that I never went down the rabbit hole of owning cars that I couldn't afford. Because the kind of money 
for the down payment that I put on that car as a teenager. That's part of the reason I keep it because you have to have a lot of responsibility and discipline. I could put that down payment on like a fucking brand new, honestly anything. <laughs> like, I don't know dude, I just, I'm glad that I was responsible and I stuck to what I could afford, you know, like not going overboard with that kind of shit. Because I feel like a lot of people, they get cars they can't afford, they get a big loan, um, and then they end up not being able to afford it, which would fucking suck, especially if you fall in love with the car, you know? Um, it's set at almost four. It's about four. It's at four. Four out of eight, nine. Show the Jeep outside. What is your sister? Oh, Jeep from my mom. From your mom? Is that what you said? I mean, if you guys think I should turn up the heat, I can do that. It's on super low heat right now. <laughs> 